up guys, welcome back to a quick new video. This is the monthly update that I told you guys about. And in this video I'll show you the new parts I got um, for the 80 plus mile an hour, maybe even 90 mile an hour Rustler built 4S. Um, so yeah, let's get straight to the point. I have got myself a brand new transmission case. As you can see, it's brand new. It's looking really good. As well as um, my new pinion and spur gear that I will be running. Um, it's a 22 tooth pinion and a 38 tooth spur. Um, it fit, fits right on the slip of clutch assembly as you can see. Very nice. And um, also um, keep in mind that this if you're running Mod 1 gearing and you want to utilize the stock um, transmission case, this is the biggest pinion and spur uh, combo that you can um, fit um, without having to modify the um, the holes the slide hole there on the bottom uh, of course you can go lower on the spur and that will give you more room to play with but um, if you're running a 38 uh, tooth um, spur gear from the Erevo I believe this is um, then the biggest pain you can get is 22, believe me. Now, also, what I did is I noticed that if you take a look here, wait a, minute, wait a second, there we go. Look what I did with the drive shafts on the end there. Now, as you can see, I mean, normally there would be like a, um, a sock over it, like there, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there you go, like a sock, but but what happens is there is this metal pin in there, I don't know if you can see it, one second, focus, 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 yeah, there we go, there is a metal pin inside of it, and what happens is that metal pin came, um, can uh, come out on this side as well as the other side, um, by rotating like this. So what happens with the sock, it's not tight around the hub. So, I mean, around the, the knuckle. So what happens, um, this little pin comes out about two millimeters uh, when, after like a run. So I took it off and I was like, hmm, how can I fix that? So what I did is I soldered it in place on this side and this side. And then I also put a little um, shrink tube around it to make it tight and look as if it came like this from the factory and then I lubed it up and it's good to go so what happens if so keep in mind guys I don't know if there are people out there um, subscribers of mine that use the um, uh, like the sock the rubber sock that uh, that um, comes straight from the factory but what happens is the pain comes out just a little bit and that um, causes, um, could cause like a, like damage. I mean, how do you call that? Um, you could strip out the whole knuckle because the little pin comes out just a tiny little bit. And you do not want that to happen. You want to have it full contact all the time. So this is a very um, good solution. But the downside is that if dirt's, um, dirt gets trapped in here, it may... Uh, wear down uh, a lot a little faster um, so I do not recommend this for off-road use maybe you could put um, a bigger string tube on it or something that comes all the way to here to here so that it um, protects it against dirt but this is how I've done it and uh, I mean it like this it looks pretty cool because the shaft looks a little longer and um, then on both sides of course so yeah also what I did like I said Pin spur looks awesome. Make sure you use some thread locker when you install the pinion um, because you do not want to get that pinion loose when you're driving at like 70 or maybe 80 miles an hour. Got a little heat sink on the motor. I've shown you that before, I think. But guys, I have one question before I end this video. The wheelie bar is not straight, as you can see. And I know there are a thousand people at least a thousand people out there who have this issue as well um, It's just something you cannot prevent from happening um, 
So if there are any people out there who know how to fix this, please let me know. This is what the underside looks. And I try to fix it with some glue. This is like uh, some kind of kit glue. And it looks pretty neat. And it holds it well, holds it together very well. But if there's a better way to do it, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, or send me a message. And uh, I'll respond as quickly as possible. Now, this was the monthly update, guys. Second, up, a new update will come in about a month, I guess, when I have new parts. I'll probably order, well, I'm pretty sure the next part that I will buy is the ESC. Um, so yeah, stay tuned, keep pulling that trigger, and I'll see you in the next update.